They sit close to the top of the world, an archipelago called the Sverdrup Islands. They were discovered by a Norwegian, thus the name, but are officially part of Canada. Now, an environmentalist and historian from Norway says his country does have rights when it comes to the islands. And as Margot McDermott reports, he wants Norway to use that power to protect them. Norwegian historian Tobias Thorleifsen was part of a group that traveled 2,200 kilometers across Ellesmere Island this winter. They passed by the Sverdrup Islands, Canada's most remote and untouched wilderness area. Back in Oslo, Thorleifsen is now trying to get Norway to step in to protect the islands from oil and gas exploration. Uh, there should be room for us to at least voice an opinion, and I hope that opinion is that we would not like to see uh, these islands become subject to industrial development. In the early 1900s, Norwegian Otto Sverdra traveled and mapped the high Arctic, giving his name to a group of three islands. These are Sverdra's uh, maps that he had deposited in Cairns. Some of his hand-drawn maps are in the National Archives. In 1930, Canada paid Sverdrup for his maps and signed a deal with Norway to retain sovereignty of the islands. But a clause says Canada would treat with the most friendly consideration any application by Norwegians to share in any fishing, hunting, industrial or trading activities in the areas. Thorleifsen thinks the clause gives Norwegians an in, and they should use it to block development. The way we use fossil fuels, we will have to move north. And, uh, and heightened competition for these resources, um, an agreement like this might come in very handy. Global warming has increased interest in the high Arctic. Oil and gas companies just paid a record $1.2 billion for rights to drill in the Beaufort Sea. Growing signs the Arctic rush is on. This Arctic sovereignty expert is watching to see what Norway decides to do. Whether or not they would want to portray themselves as perhaps uh, uh, some means of being a protectorate of the region. And then it starts causing real serious issues for Canadian sovereignty over that particular island. Uh, from August uh, 8, 1930. But the Norwegian government says it has good relations with Canada and isn't about to start throwing its weight around in the Arctic. This treaty or agreement uh, is an old one. It's been there. We consider it to be valid, but nobody's really looked at that uh, since it came into force. Neither has Canada's new foreign minister, who's never even heard of the islands. Sverdrup Islands, does that mean anything to you? No. Thank you. But Thorleifsen warns Canada not to be complacent. He says while Norway's government may not rock the boat, Norwegian companies may find development in the islands too good to pass up. Margot McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.